Thanks for visiting ScottThom.com. Today we got front squats. The benefit of doing front squats is you have the weight in front of you. So there's less compound forces. You're not able to do as much weight by having the weight in front of you. Also, you engage a lot more core, lower back. So in the beginning of a front squat, you have two grips. You can go over, overhand like this, which is more of a body, bodybuilding style grip, or catch grip, which you kind of really want to work towards with the catch grip because it's just like the movement patterns of the power cleans, and I have all my athletes do that. Because when you catch a clean, that's how you're going to catch it. You're not going to catch a clean like this. So um, there might be a couple things: lack of flexibility in the wrist. So you might have to just go two fingers on the bar. Come up off. Price up to parallel to the ground. Walk down. And up. At the bottom, you're going to want to make sure your elbows come up. like the weight is coming forward that could be because your elbows are dropping down at the bottom of the lift make sure those are elbows are up when you're driving the weight up that'll help to keep your back nice and straight also if you have lack of flexibility in the ankles you can put some mats down and when you get the bar off put your heels on the mat press those heels into the ground Great leg exercise, front squats, engage a lot more core, lower back, less compound forces and back squats. Back squats are great as well, but this is just one thing you can throw into your leg workout and mix it up. Thanks for visiting ScottThom.com. Create a great day.